at the amazing Merritt Brewing. Uh, and I'm here with Aaron Swinney, the head brewer. We're going to talk a little bit about Merritt Brewing and how they use Shred to enhance their business. So first of all, Aaron, uh, tell me about the business. What is uh, going on here right now for this summer, 2022? It's hard to, uh, hard to figure, remember it all, really. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's kind of just head on right now, brew as much as we can and get the people in the seats. It's obviously been very interesting after COVID, we're still in COVID, but trying to, you know, not only keep the beer sales going in here, but keep the tap room going. We'll always come up with like unique events or days that, you know, or maybe discount days or just events that we're trying to have that are still very safe. So what, what kind of brews are you promoting right now? Well, right what now, time? summertime, you know, it's all about eating, drinking lagers. Um, fruit and sours are the biggest thing right now, too. You can't make enough fruit and sours, which is crazy. Like. Ten years ago, if you told me we'd be making fruit and sours as a payroll beer, you'd be <laughs> getting some laughs. But it's crazy. Like uh, right now, we've got a strawberry kiwi goza, which is a salted beer. Uh, we have a papaya mango beer coming up after that, blueberry plum, and it's just it's nonstop. People like to we call it the Caesar effect. Mm -hmm. When you see someone drinking like a colorful beer, everyone wants everyone that. Wants you know, everyone yeah. wants that. It it really works. Okay. Uh, and then on top of that, just IPAs, uh, the super hoppy stuff that's not bitter, but just very tropical and floral. Uh, those are one of our specialties, and people seem to drink those no matter what time of year, so it's always good to have a couple of those on as well. And we were talking a little bit earlier about your foundational philosophy. How did you start this business and why? Yeah, well, I was already working in brewing for about three or four years before Tej approached me with it. Uh, Tej and I have been friends for quite a long time, and before that. Uh, I, it was, I remember it was a rain day in April 2014, and he was like, hey, thinking about this idea, for brew pub, but also for like LCBO sale. Like, those are totally different things. Mm -hmm. We need to like pick one and go with it. Uh, through all our research and, and countless hours of figuring out what we want to do, a brew pub is our favorite idea because not only do we get to make the beer, we get to sell it without a middle person, and then on top of it, we have a restaurant that's essentially our stage to perform. So we get to educate all our customers, we get to talk to them, and they get to see us for a long time. So that's kind of the idea, just uh, a local made in Hamburg. Right, and as you said, there are no failures. It's just your playground. We're going to try a bunch of different things, and uh, there's been a great response, apparently. Uh, a lot of people love the brews, especially your wine hybrids, and then that's something you're carving your own niche uh, for the brewing industry. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, yeah it's interesting. As, as we kind of progress now, we're actually brewing a little bit more traditional styles, which we never used to do in the beginning, and it, we're learning so much more, of course, because of that, because we have more strict guidelines that you have to follow. Where, you want to make a fruit and sour, you know, you're, you're just dumping in some fruit, and it, it, there's still a lot of science behind it, don't get me wrong. It's uh, a little bit more fun in that sense, you know, playful. Uh, it's interesting, though, in the brewing scene, say as a chef, you wouldn't get penalized for coming up with a new dish, but in brewing, there's a lot of traditional people, right. and they don't see innovation as always the best thing. So for us, we kind of ride that line between traditional and that very creative. And uh, you see, you've got your sign there for all your wine hybrids yeah. that are on tap right now. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Yeah, uh, so, so the last question, um, we've been doing Shred together for a while. Yeah. Um, how have you used your Shred refunds? What have you invested in it for other oh, Yeah, no, it's, been, it's just been fantastic. So I look forward to our annual call now, you know, <laughs> hang, out with, hang out with David for a couple of days. Um, yeah, you know, we've just reinvested into the business itself. We acquired a new warehouse uh, right before COVID happened, so that's going to start renovation the next month. Um, and then just little things kind of uptake uh, or up with the building itself, uh, maintenance equipment, and then future projects as well. A lot of times the kitchen, because of our brewery, uh, often you know, the brewery is looked at first as to like, what do we need to fix? What do we need to, to buy that's new? And sometimes, you know, the kitchen is second in that. So we always want to try and make sure that we're giving back to the kitchen as well because without them, you know, it wouldn't be a full, full restaurant here, that's for sure. What would you say to uh, any other company that's looking to file a shred plan? Do it. It's <laughs> fantastic. I love it. Yeah, you get, get to talk to, with uh, some lovely people, but I think, you know, what's really cool is it, it reminds you of how much you've done in a year. <laughs> I think, like, you know, for us, we're always on to the next project and most of the time we're working on, you know, 10 different beers at a time based on the amount of tanks. Um, it's easy to forget how far you've come and how much you've done. So I think, like, not only that is a good reminder and like a pat on the back, but it's nice to see that um, you know innovation and, and just like creative stuff like that is is being applauded. I suppose you know in that sense. Yeah. No, it's a, it's, it's just a fantastic thing. And 
I look forward to it every year for sure. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank we'll you. let you get back to your grant. Awesome. Chat soon. Cool, cool.